Hello, in the last two parts of this tutorial I'll show you how to model this simple computer in here. So, in this video part I will show you how to finish the modeling and how to arrange all the elements so it would look nice. First, the thing that I see in here is that this one is a little bit too high. So, instead I'll just select this in here, tab into edit mode and I will make this a little bit higher just grab along the Z alright now I think it's all good. good now first I will start with the with these things in here so just tab into edit mode and make sure you arrange them in here, okay, select them, select them all, scale along the X, okay, no, not to that point, okay, let me search a point, in here, okay, scale along X till there, okay, that's fine, now, uh, Grab along Y till about there. I will actually move this behind this bar, but first I will just take it in, I will just keep it in front of it because it's easier like that. Okay, now I see here I have this survey modifier and I will I will fix it. Okay, so the X needs to be zero and the Z needs to grow where is it? Alright. Uh, relative Oh wait, something's not good. Okay now. Uh this is kind of flipped so I'll just control A and apply the apply the scale and the location okay and I will select here minus one and merge first and last now to take them down just raise the counts let me just see 23 no, 22 uh, 23 yeah 23 is fine okay now apply it if you apply a modifier you must know that you cannot you cannot modify so after you apply it that's it that's just it if you apply it you cannot modify it anymore. Okay, now I will grab these ones and scale them. Deselect this one. And I will keep doing this till. Uh, finish no control Z because I just I just to, to scale them on the X axis not all the axis so scale them on the X alright this will take a, time, a while Okay. The scale around along x, x. x. Uh, 
okay. As I was telling you, this will take a while. Oh. And I keep mumbling. Scale on X. Alright. So I'm hoping that what I'm doing here is actually useful for you and you can learn from my tutorials. Line of S3 and what I will do now is I select this vertex here just shift s and cursor to select it and just press period so it would uh, it the pivot point it would be that 3d cursor and now rotate think I'll take this a little higher, it's not noticeable, so just I also right. <clears throat> what I'm doing in here is not very precise but it's fine for now because this is just a small size which is not very visible when you look at the computer so I can do this. Okay, now I'll just add another plate in here. Just easily. No shit. I'll easily do that by extruding this vertex still about there, and then again till there and another extrude till there so that will look fine also just scale them on the X and this one as well oh damn it I don't need to scale it I need to make it individually so on the X, no. Let's select each vertice and snap it to to that point. If you, uh, if actually X, all right. If it doesn't snap correctly. Actually, what you need to do is just Control Shift Tab and select Vertex. I'm not sure if you did that, but if you didn't, just do that and hold down Control. This one is a little bit out in there. Okay, it doesn't matter for now. You can just pull them in, but I'll not do that. I don't have time. Okay, now this uh, tab out of edit mode. I select this one. This First, let me just pull these in, as I was telling you, on the Y, 
okay something like that now that's good okay now this one I'll just select it along Y okay there and the width the width is good okay but this the y axis is not good so grab along y along y in fact I will snap it to there. Okay. Grab this one along Y, snap it to there. Along Z. Just some snapping. Modeling. Grab these ones together. And snap them, this one. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. All right, now to fix this in here, this one is the small one, so just select this one and grab it along Y or Y. All right, okay, this. These two as well. Oh, along Z. And this one I tab in edit mode and select the top four vertices and just grab them along, along Z. Good, that's fine. Now this looks nice, but I actually have a little bit of gap between these and I'll just Select them all and scale them on the Z like and switch the pivot point to individual origin and just scale them like just a little bit. Yeah, that's something like that. So you can see the gap between them. That's fine. Now I need to arrange these uh, these top ones. Okay, this, this is good. I actually don't need to do anything. Just, if you want, just, uh, what you can do is select these ones and make a face between, the, between them, just so you, so you won't actually see the, if you accidentally look at it so you can see that it's an empty space okay the light won't go inside anyway okay i think these top parts are quite arranged so i don't need to do much things in here okay now this looks fine this looks fine so I think this will pretty much be the end of this tutorial. I just cover the modeling part is in tutorial. And another thing that I can do is just select this one, Control A, uh, A to apply the location and the scale and other bevel modifier. Okay, not quite that much. Okay, something like that and as well for this one uh, add the bevel modifier okay uh, apply also the location and scale mostly the scale is important yeah something like that would be fine and this pretty much ends my tutorial if you want some nice pose in here, 
with the from part of the computer there you go you have a computer I'm I'm hoping my tutorial was helpful for you and and just I hope that I have some time for the back part as well if you want that all right and and that, yeah this that's pretty much it you can just add some you know subdivision surface modifiers for these objects in here and just move them and that's just a material thing you know you do them when you add some material to it okay so this is the end of my tutorial I'm hoping it was helpful for you in some way and see you next time thank you for watching